Hey guys, it is me, Phoenix. We are going to do a general read to see where your energy is. Please do me a favor, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Remember, red hearts, you made it through. Purple hearts, it resonates. Green hearts, you're working on it. Yellow hearts, you're rocking me. Got my six. I mean, have my back because I have yours. Now we're going to pull from the West to T deck and then we're going to clarify. I'll clarify your energy the person or the energies that you've been dealing with and then we'll also clarify that energy in regards to how you manage through there um all of these energies come out right now yeah legal issues it says yeah and drama starter so this could be somebody that's dealing with the energy when it comes to kids or uh you hitting the jackpot um because at some point you were crying look at my mushroom i don't know why that's sitting here but anyway you were crying over a situation and somebody um, that you might have kids by has been blocking you and you know basically what's happening is that they're starting drama they're dealing with the courts or you've been dealing with a situation to where it has to do with you winning the situation and you've been sad and upset and hurt and you can't believe that this is somebody who you actually once loved that that's kind of how I see that and it says kids at risk of being taken or it's about to um or is about to it says reporting something neglect and abuse and then it says um you are winning the situation so you're winning the situation when it comes to the courts and also having a lawyer because somebody is starting drama and um it's like th th because hurt people hurt people and it's like hot block and they don't want you to be happy if that makes sense you know i don't like drama field readings but this is coming out the way it's coming out and for all these cards to fall out and then the for these to be two legal issues sitting here that just shows me that you're winning this situation because hurt people hurt people and they know that this person is starting drama so i'm gonna pull from the breakup oracle because it's sitting right here but this at one point was somebody that you dealt with and then i'm going to pull from that card deck over there which is the modern love tarot to see what comes out and then i'll clarify that so yeah, don't force it. You couldn't force this energy. Uh, there is new love. So again, hurt people hurt people. They're mad at you because you've decided to move forward. Bottom of the deck is pretending. So they're pretending to care right now and not to um, act like um, they are over you. And so the crying is that they are sad. They are upset. But the thing is, is that they don't want you to move forward. So this new love or this new energy of love or newfound love that you have for yourself is why they're not wanting to just forgive me, but I found new love um, who makes me feel alive. And so this is the energy that you're not forcing this anymore. You're not crying over them. They're upset and they're ha they're uh, heartbroken because you're happy, if that makes sense. And so let me go ahead and get um, before I. Before I pull from the modern love, I'm pull from the empath deck because, again, we love people. We love love. We love to feel a certain way when it comes to dealing with pe people, places, and situations. And here it is. Uh, you know, you've done all you can when it comes to this situation. So the cog block, and they don't want you to be happy because they're not happy, comes with the Six of Cups energy. Yeah, they want you to hold on to the memory. Six of Cups energy is nostalgia, love and past energies they want you to hold on to their energies star energy is being optimistic child services so a bright opportunity you want it to look and be optimistic about trying to co-parent it seems like to me and the jackpot comes out with the five of wands energy yeah the jackpot they're upset because you're winning the conflict is coming in because you tried to be cordial in regards to this situation and here it is they just you know want you to be miserable and the crying over you sad hurt and upset is because you had to end this situation it's a painful transition but you had to end this unexpected energy but um now they're hurt and again they're trying to hurt you because they're hurt the legal issues the courts comes in the reverse their toxicity is being yeah release indulgence so you're releasing this energy and now you had to basically move forward when it comes to dealing with this person pretending and starting drama Queen of Coins, peaceful abundance. So the Queen of the Queen of Pentacles energy is basically like JDS Tarot says. Um, you know, 
can be toxic to herself. You know, at one point he said that a while back that the Queen of Pentacles can be toxic to herself because financially, physically, mentally, and spiritually, she will do anything for a person that he or she will do anything for a person that they love, including not moving on, including trying to see the benefit or, or see the benefit in a situation of why they keep putting, putting, putting their energy. And as Queen Amin Ra says, the mother of the Zodiac is who uh, we are as um, cancers. Um, and we have that Queen of Pentacles energy because we're able to manifest. We're able financially, mentally, physically, and spiritually to see a different perspective of what family is and what family means to us. So we look at love in a different perspective. Um, when I was learning tarot and the definitions, the Queen of Pentacles, one thing that stuck out to me is the quotes that I have right here. Um, it says a loving family is one of the greatest blessings in life, protect and care for them no matter what. So that no matter what is where the toxicity stays in your life. And you basically will stay until 10 years down the line when it comes to the pinnacles energy. This is you having to recognize that this energy is always going to be here and it's always going to be a fake energy until you decide to walk away because you hold on to the memories of what this could have been or what you saw the potential in the situation which conflict arises and then we have the devil energy releasing indulgence and also understanding that the devil in the reverse comes with you having to look at things as the toxicity that's there but also understanding that sometimes this is you excuse me, I burped, I'm sorry. This is you wanting to um, know that you're addicted to the situation, but knowing that it also me means for you to have to um, understand your, uh, your, the way you love, the things that you're talk that, that your toxicities is basically what it is because your toxic ways of loving is to love unconditionally. And that's nothing wrong with that, but you have to choose and understand the people that need to come into your life, if that makes sense. I'm going to get this card deck and pause it for a second. Hold on. Okay, I pulled two card decks. I pulled from the archetype deck and I also pulled from, I not pulled, I picked up the archetype de deck in the modern love deck. So I'm going to pull from the archetype deck first and then see the type of person or energies that you have been around or been dealing with when it comes to the situation, um, whether this be the people that are around you or the people that were supporting you, but also the type of energies that you had to escape in order to be able to move forward, if that makes sense. And so this is the archetype, yeah, mother energy. Hmm. Yeah, that's you nurturing energy, but archetype and traits of love is what it is. The mothering energy, like I said, the seeker, yeah, they love to keep a relationship fresh, uh, keeps variety and passion on their menu. They have quirky styles and approach to love. And that's what you loved about this person, but it was also a nurturing thing because of their quirky energy there and your nurturing love, your nurturing type. Um, you were seeking this type of energy when it came to dealing with. Okay, go ahead. Okay, that was my grandbaby. Hold on. Okay, she back. She went back out. So anyway, the mother of the zodiac is you, right? And you are the nurturing one. You are the queen of pentacles. Again, um, I'll read to you. Um, Eleven. Excuse me. Where's that? A loving family is one of the greatest blessings in life. Protect and care for them no matter what. This one says parents, their, par their partners, a strong maternal instinct and unequal relationships. This is always a one-sided energy when you are trying to over nurture a situation. And this could be, you can be, um, you can be a, a female or male. Either way, take what resonates. But the thing is, is that the way that you love and the way that you do things it's like a un it's never it's a never ending thing for you and that is kind of how you have to learn how to get out of certain situations and you know you have to know that you can't force situations like this because they become they be, they become codependent energies and that's not what you want out of a situation if that makes sense and so again cherish memories we as parents I'm a parent I don't know I can't speak for you but as parents um, and even if you're not a parent with maternal energies in your charts or just being a maternal uh, individual as a, a caring, empathic cancer um, or a caring cancer, however you want to put it, um, we tend to go above and beyond for our people we consider our family. And so, yep, when it comes to the way we give Eight of Pentacles uh, in love, uh, Eight of Pentacles energy is basically 
you know, uh, you being able to uh, get to a situation to where you are mastering and working on yourself, but working on yourself when it comes to love and how you love. And this is the modern love when it comes to looking at, I'd rather work on this love and give as much as I can to a situation so somebody can believe in themselves and uh, be able to nurture a situation. And sometimes that becomes a situation where you have kids, justice energy. This is either seeking therapy or consequences of your actions, but the justice is you doing the right thing. You're trying to do the right thing for a person and a situation when it comes to love, two of cups energy. But at some point, that two of cups energy is like you are um, – doing more and it becomes one-sided because you as a parent or as a, a mother or a, a, a being, I'm going to say that, uh, wants the best for whomever comes in contact with you. And the bottom of the deck is the seven of cups energy. You have to realize that your options as in, in a relationship or in a friendship or in any situation comes with the seven of cups energy. You being able to uh, find your poor, purpose and also um go have different choices and you have different illusions about what it is that you want out of a, out of a situation but it has to be equal give and take it cannot be codependent one-sided energies and that is what you've been seeking from this situation when it comes to whether you waiting for somebody to get better in a situation six of pentacles six years here each pentacle is equivalent to a year um, eight of Pentacles, eight years, you finally decided that the way that you've been working on situations comes with either love, uh, comes with the way you love, comes with the way you stop working on yourself when love is uh, present, or the way you do things uh, when it comes to how you need to fix the past energies and move forward, if that makes sense. And so that's kind of how I see this energy right here. I'm going to go ahead and pull from the... Uh, what is this? Do, 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 do. Um, hearts, hidden secrets. The hearts, hidden secrets. I'm going to pull from here to see what comes out. But again, you always keep in the back of your mind the things that somebody's told you, but you're not using them against them. You are basically using them to love them and show them that you they deserve better. But again, when kids get involved or when certain situations get involved and you have to, yeah, apology, forgiveness, when it comes to you getting involved with the person and them realizing that you're not there to nurture the situation, there will be a return. There will be, I'm sorry, there will be an apology or there will be just a return with somebody not being able to speak. But in actuality, yeah, farewells, leaving behind closure. This is you getting closure by you walking away and not really you wanting the apology and the closure but you're not really getting it because of the fact that you know that it's not going to come the way that you want and it's only going to be um hurtful uh when they come back around because then you're going to have to detach again so we have karma and second chances these people will want a second chance but the cause the justice energy right legal is energies the justice is the same thing justice either trying to figure it out child services this is getting a third party coming in clock block clock block clock cock blocking somebody trying to stop you from moving forward uh legal issues you know and then karmic energy is what this person will think that you're putting towards them but you are thinking that you're being punished because of what you keep continuously dealing with in the past you know from the past and not really um setting boundaries so you're feeling like you're being um um like it's an issue with you, but, and that's why you can constantly give the wheel of fortune energy back and forth, back and forth, going with the flow, because, you know, again, you would rather make amends and look at the opportunities for what it is. That's why you try to seek therapy. That's the reason why you try to seek therapy. If it's not with this person, it's with a third party, you trying to talk and ask different questions or child services could be somebody stepping in and trying to help the situation are you asking for help but again the universe is saying you cannot force a second chance or somebody to get it together and the majority of the time even though you know you're unsure about it and you don't really want this because it didn't come in reverse which is you staying it's you being unsure about if you should walk away say goodbye and leave this behind for closure and we have at the bottom of the deck lusting yeah because you guys have a sexual energy which it says on here that um but it's non-committal 
And that's where the back and forth comes in at, which is, again, um, you know, the toxic energy of, where is it at? Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. The devil in the reverse. So that's the reason why. Because this is like you guys have this attachment. It's not about the sex. It's not about this. The drama, the pretending to care. But it really is all about this non-committal type energy. And it's the forbidden. So you'll do everything you can. But again, the consequences, the karmic energies, you know, the cause and effect, uh, the karmic debts is what you feel which is the, this is why you had to release it and not force it anymore. And so that is kind of how I see that energy of why you cannot move forward or why you feel the need not to move forward. Now I am going to pull from, do, 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 look at that cloudy judgment. Yeah. Illusions. And that's the seven of cups energy as well. Like you, it says unbalanced and distorted, but you, the illusions of you seeing things for what you want them to be and knowing that there's other options out there. But a lot of the options are the snake, which are in the seven of cups energy. And let me see if I can find it. So the memories and then where's the seven of cups at? Doo -doo -doo -doo. Where did I see the seven of cups? Because I, I knew it came out. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Five of wands, six of cups. Was the seven of cups back here? Yep, right here. Seven of cups. Boom. So um, in each cup, there's money. I'm going to look at it, the thing. There's a castle. There is, what is this? A diamond. There is a mask. There is a snake. You see the snake, snake coming out of that cup? There's the mask. And there's the heart. The heart knows what the heart wants. And so the heart wants the illusion of what it could be. And so that is why you constantly lust about the things that you want and you're okay with them actually coming back around and not really closing it off, if that makes sense. And so um, this is the, let me turn around and look, the Cozy Witch Tarot deck to see what comes out. Let's see. Um, this is the tarot. I already said that, right? <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and see. So all the cards come out. Bottom of the deck is the Knight of Swords the knight of swords energy the knight of swords says be tough be ambitious know what you want go after it in a single-minded determination that's a lot of studying for who you are but it also says um be ambitious chase every dream so even though this is not the dream that you saw with this energy that doesn't mean that there's not another option out there for you again the seven of cups energy has the snake it has the house it has the heart it has the um Oh, not the house, the, 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 yeah, the castle. What else does it have? It has the, oh, the mask. It has the puppy and it has the money. So you have the option to have anything that you want, but you have to be able to see. And that comes with growth, which is a sun card here, but also comes with you manifested the things that you want. So it says you have everything you need to do anything you want. Always remember that. There's nothing that anybody can do to stop you. You don't wait for this apology. You just walk away, nurture yourself, love yourself, know that you deserve better and that this will come to you to a cup's energy one day. But you have to learn from the past. Justice energy, the justice energy again is doing the right thing, but it also is consequences of your actions. And this is the five of cups energy, having the insight and knowledge to know what's causing you sadness. Again, this comes with spilled tea isn't the end of the world. It's not the end of the world. It is a sad moment, but it's something that you're able to learn from. And then we have the queen of pentacles, her back out. Queen of pentacles comes out. Where is she at? Is she here? I think she's at the bottom of the deck. Let's see. Do, 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 do. The Queen of Pentacles is right here. Yes, Queen of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. And again, a loving family is one of the greatest blessings in life. Protect and care for them no matter what. The witch is in. You're going to figure out what it is that you want. It says there's no need to sacrifice. You can have it all. I don't know how to put this in an easier reading. There's no need to sacrifice. You can have it all. So a second chance, is it worth it? Apology waiting on it, is it worth it? You cannot force what the universe has for you. The sun energy, that comes with growth. It comes with growth and understanding that you have to be able to go after what you want. And it says the sun, give yourself permission to experience joy. So in the process of doo -doo -doo -doo, the seven of cups energy, don't force it. 
Know that you have all the options that you want, but give yourself permission to experience joy. And that is you making a decision to go after what you want and not to force the things that you cannot change. Only thing you can be is the change to yourself. And you have to nurture yourself, love yourself, and go from there. And so don't force it. That is what I see. I'm going to pull from the crystal deck, which is the prolocyte and the four agreements. If you want to know the definitions or definitions, my perspective on them, I'll put the link up above. It says don't take anything personal. Become immune to poison. It says the whole world can gossip about you, and if you don't take it personally, you are immune. Immunity to poison in the middle of hell is a gift of the second agreement. And that is why the devil energy is in the reverse because you're learning how to deal with things and releasing the indulgence and not blaming yourself for it. And that's a part of loving yourself, the heart chakra, and that's growth. It says self-acceptance, exactly, comfort and growth. Self-acceptance, comfort and growth. And it said, ooh, ooh, ooh. I fell out. Hold on. And it says, do, 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 gee, you, I don't know why I said that. Anyway, it says the healing energy of the universe flows through me and into the earth. The healing energy of the universe flows through me and into the earth. So that is who this nurturing person is, the mother energy. You cannot force this. It all comes with growth. And that's how I see that. All right, you guys. I love you. Go ahead and like, share, subscribe. Hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Red hearts, you made it through. Purple hearts, it resonates. Green hearts, you're working on it. Yellow hearts, you rock with me. Got my six, meaning I have my back. Because I have yours, let's let this old energy go. I now let go of worn out conditions of lack, doubt, hate, negativity, procrastination, stagnation, sadness, generational curses, debt, bad energies, heartbreak, bad health, and addictions. Remember, Addictions can be to a person, place, thing, or a situation. I love you guys.